What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing the Aaron 17 year old, which was bottled in, I believe 2023. It is the replacement or at least temporary replacement for the 18 year old. This 17 year old was one of only 12,000 bottles. This was a Patreon request by Lars from Red Deer. Thank you, Lars. Um, I love these Patreon requests because it saves me from having to choose the bottles on my right hand side over here. Um, it says 12,000 bottles right on the actual bottle limited edition, which allows you to assume that the 18 year old before it had much more than that per release. Um, they did say something about going back to the 18 year old eventually, but with this edition of the 17 year old, I know it's limited, but it's a lot more expensive, almost a hundred dollars more expensive where I am. Uh, so I'm going to nose it, taste it and give it a mark and then pull over the 18 year old for, I believe I bought it for like 130 bucks. Um, and compare the two, this is closer to 230 bucks in Canada. So, all right on the nose. Um, I believe this is mostly sherry cask, but not entirely. 12,000 bottles. If there is a combination, I would say that, you know, um, majority of them are sherry and maybe one of them is or one or two of them, uh, bourbon cask to get that color. I would assume it's either entirely or mostly sherry cask. The nose has improved a lot from when I first opened it. It was, very muted when I first opened it. Now you definitely get a lot more sherry influence on the nose. Um, berries, like a touch of chocolate, some like raisin kind of notes, figs even. Something a little nutty, like maybe walnut, right on the palate. Palate's improved a lot as well. When I first took a sip, it was pretty underwhelming um, in flavor and a little bit overwhelming in heat. Now it's mellowed out a lot. There's virtually no heat whatsoever at 46%. I would say the finish is still kind of short. Uh, you do get those sherry notes, but it's not long lasting by any means. Before I mark this, I'm going to pull over the 18 year old because um, I want to know how it sips next to this, but I'll give this one more sip. There's like a light citrusy note, but more on the berry side. Like I said, figs, raisins, dried fruits, maybe like, maybe a little bit of like a dried apricot as well. Good. Pretty good. Okay. Side by side with the 18 year old, this is one of a few I have left of these 18 year olds. And uh, obviously I've been enjoying it. I think this is my third bottle of the Aaron 18 year old that I've opened and almost finished. Okay. So the nose more on the nutty side uh, for the 18 year old hazelnuts, touch more chocolate, touch more salinity as well somehow. I know it's pretty close to the coast. Or at least it's on an island, so I would assume it's pretty close to the coast. Based on the picture, it looks like, I don't know how many kilometers that is to the water, but it doesn't look very far at all. The nose is a clear winner for the 18. 
definitely more sherry influence despite the color being a little darker on the 17. Okay, on the palette. The 18's richer. It's got more salinity for sure. Um, there's more chocolate going on here. There is some raisins. But overall, longer finish, sweeter, nicer palette overall. Um, the raisins stand out a little bit more. The chocolate stands out a little bit more. The salinity a little bit more. Okay, so back to the 17. Just seems like a lighter whiskey to me. Maybe a touch less heat, uh, which I guess could be a positive. Something a little more bitter in the 17 than in the 18. And the finish is a lot shorter. All those reasons, I gotta give this 17 an 84. It's good, I won't be buying it again at that price. Not 200, it's not north of 200 good. Um, the 18 year old was a lot cheaper and better in my opinion. Um, so that being said, the 17 is not bad by any means. It's a good whiskey, it's just for the price and what you get out of it, I think they banked a little too heavily on the fact that there was only 12,000 bottles of this one. Uh, so they decided to raise the price of it. Hopefully the price goes back down once it's no longer a limited bottling. Uh, we'll see. But again, that's an 84. Very good, just not good enough to buy a second bottle of. And probably tasting that before buying, I would have not purchased the bottle, to be honest. Uh, whereas this 18, like I said, once I bought it, tried it, I had to buy more. Um, that's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.